All right, so I built up this little uh, Banggood 3D printed frame last night. Here she is, minus the uh, Yashin TX-02 that's going up top here. Got the buzzer on, the uh, Yashin F1 flight controller, uh, Chowley 8.5mm motors, and uh, Electron Pro 600 milliamp hour batteries. Excellent batteries, by the way. For micros um comparing them to these nanotechs i've been using these nanotechs for a long time and i always loved them but recently i've discovered these ones they're the exact same specs they're both 600 milliamp hour and they're both 35 to 70 c um except the electron pro is smaller and lighter and has thicker battery cables so it's just all around better for the same price you can see how much shorter it is. And the battery cables are a little bit thicker. I wanted to show you the battery cables that came with this flight controller as well. And I'm going to show you a comparison between the first one that I bought and this one. And they're both the same flight controller. Bought both of them from Banggood. Same exact FC. Except the, sec the second time around, they sent me a different battery cable. Same style, the Hubson style, but if you look at the first one that I got and the second one, you see quite a bit of difference there. <laughs> look how much thicker the wire is. This this is the beefiest Hubson cable I've ever seen, and I've I've been flying Hubson for a long time. Look how much thicker that wire is. So hopefully I'll be able to use this soon. I don't have any batteries. Actually, I do have some of those Hubson 500 milliamps. Um, and a 380 and a, and a 300 or a 250, I think. Whatever the one that comes on that HKX100, it's a 250. 250, 500... Um, so these didn't work very good for me. Uh, if you watch my recent, well not my recent, but um, a ways back I built that, uh, what was it called, the Happy Model flight controller, the F3. It was the first one that I did. Um, and I tried using these batteries and it would just drop out of the sky first time I gave it gas. So I don't know if it was because I was trying to use this with the super skinny wires that came with it because this wire also came with that happy model one as well as the Eishin one but uh, I'm wondering if I use this thicker one if this battery might do better I don't know it might so I'm gonna test that out and see what happens but that's just crazy they might they either listen to us or they got somebody there that's smart enough to know that the thicker wire is better this shit is just super thick. I've never seen any micro battery cable that was this thick. Even the, uh, here I got some some of these Nano QX2. It's not even as thick as that. I mean, it's thicker than that. Look at that. And these work excellent. These have excellent uh, current flow. So this one's gotta be great. And the JST, here's the JSTs that I use that work good. It's thicker than those. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the quad. Um, this thing's awesome. I love it. It's incredibly light. My uh, scale broke recently. Yeah, I put in a brand new battery too and it still won't turn on. I got it to, sh to turn on the other day, but it started just like randomly typing out shit. I don't know what's going on with it, stupid Weight Watchers. Damn it. Damn you. I just want to know how much my quad weighs. But, um, but, um, 
If I do it the old fashioned scale. Yeah, it definitely feels lighter. Maybe. Actually, I don't know now. They kind of feel the same. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm still waiting for the Eachin TX-02. Same camera as this. What's going on here? It's got a nice little angled platform for it to sit in. I just had to notch out this little piece in the back right here for the LCD screen to fit. So it, now it just fits in there just perfectly. And uh, I got some servo tape down there to stick it to. And then I'm just going to wrap a rubber band going around this way. Don't ever wrap, wrap a run, rubber band around this way. But going over this way is okay. So yeah, it's going to work out great. And uh, hopefully I can get some smaller buzzers. Multi-Rotor Mania sells the best tiny ones, but they're always out of stock. So um, Anyway, I'll do a little line of sight flight. It's uh, the first sunny day we've had here in like over a month. So I've been flying these all day. Uh, one other thing, um, if you want to buy this frame, if you don't have a 3D printer, Banggood sells this frame. and uh, There's two different styles you can buy. One of them is for a SciSky and for the F3 flight controllers like um, the, the, F, the SP Racing F3 Evo ones. And it fits down inside of there perfectly along with the SciSky. And then there's another size that you can get that fits... Um, I don't remember what other ones there were. It was some other, one of the other uh, brushed FCs that just came out. But they're meant to fit down there. And I got the wrong one. I got the Sky Sky one. But I'm using the Eachine F1 board. So one board is like 22 by 32 and a half. And the other one is like 20 by 32 or something or 33. I don't remember, but... It's like one or two millimeters difference either way. But this one ended up fitting just perfectly on the, on the edge. So I just stuck servo tape down inside the little dip. And then just stuck the flight controller down on there. And it's just like perfectly flat on there. Perfectly level. And it's not moving. So it turned out just perfect. Hot glued the buzzer down. And uh, that's about it. Awesome little frame. It's only 85 millimeter. It's tiny. It's my little tiny whoop. This thing flies so good. Ooh, it's getting breezy. Uh oh, dead battery.
yeah so this is just <laughs> it's really really cool I love it I like it a lot it flies so good and it corners so fast it's just insane how fast it corners maybe it might show a little better in the kitchen here fly for another second It just turns so quick. Okay, so let's check what the voltage is for when it starts beeping faster. So it was beeping slow, and then I landed pretty much right when it started beeping faster. So, whoa. That's not good. <laughs> I think I need to raise my uh, minimum up by a point we'll see how high it up high, how high up it goes god i can't talk today if it was like 360 i would be okay but 350 is a little bit too low so i'm gonna go up one point actually no i did this i did that for a reason i forgot totally forgot so i made it to where i land when it first starts beeping while you're flying around not in a punch out, but just one flying around. So you'll notice the first beeps when you only when you do a punch out, and then but then when you're flying around normal, it won't be beeping. Only on a punch out. Then it gets to the point where it starts beeping slowly, even when you're just flying around slow, and that's when you want to land, and that makes your battery right at 3.7. If you set your warning level to 3.0 and your minimum to 2.9. A little fun fact for you there. And I'm sure that's only, probably only if you're using like this battery or one like it. Like that Nanotech 600. So anyway, there it is. I'll do uh, another video when I put the camera on. Actually, I'll do a video of putting the camera on. And then I'll do some DVR footage. Alright, 